you'll see that we have an uh, increase of 13,000 cases, uh, which uh, brings our total case to 726,000 active cases, as I said, are up 3,500. Very sadly, uh, we've had 14 additional Arkansans that have passed away as a result of COVID, and you'll see the uh, data later as to what percent of the new cases, what percent of the hospitalizations and the deaths uh, represent those that have not been vaccinated. Next, uh, our doses given remains a concern to me. I just think the confusing messages that we've seen nationally, the debate online, uh, you know, we're slowing down the progress that we've made uh, on uh, our vaccination program with 5,000 uh, being given at really uh, the height of the pandemic, uh, we would like to see that number obviously much higher. We are making progress, but it is very incremental. It is slow, and, uh, and, and the fact is that uh, Arkansas reflects much of the nation that there is some hardened resistance uh, to going beyond where we are in our percent vaccinated. Uh, you can see that we have 1.5 million now that are fully immunized, well over 50% of our state. Uh, next, uh, hospital data. Uh, we have an increase of 18 hospitalized and eight additional on ventilators. Uh, and this, with the height of the cases, but the much slower increase in hospitalization reflects the fact that the Omicron variant is not as severe in consequences and hospitalizations as the Delta variant. And that gives us a little bit more margin to work with. Uh, next, uh, testing. Uh, we know there's a lot more testing going on with our uh, at-home free tests that are being distributed across the state. But still with that, we've had 15,000 PCR and antigen tests that have been reported to the Department of Health. Highest counties, Pulaski, 1,000, Benton, Washington, 800 and 700, respectfully, respectively.